it's Rokagi here and welcome back to the brand new video on today's video the topic should be a really interesting one uh so as you remember one piece fighting path we all want global version of that game i believe that's already obvious and we had one big huge hope that this game will become global as you remember the new verse the same developer of one piece fighting pad uh asked for a job no asked for a person to do a job to translate one chinese game or multiple chinese game from them from new verse and we all hoped that the chosen game one of the chosen games will be one piece fighting path and that that person will translate that one piece fighting path from china to english and any other global language and the game will become globally but as you already know or you may not know the one piece fighting path wasn't that chosen game the chosen game was from newverse marvel snap okay so in today's video we're gonna check out what that marvel snap game is all about we're gonna check out the announcement and the trailer and the gameplay okay uh we're gonna see i i'm sad because it would be much much better i already know that this one piece fighting path game got translated and they would make so much more money that marvel snap that is just my personal opinion okay so i was just showing you now the gameplay from anniversary summons but let me now go on marvel snap and let's see what is what is that game all about and did they deserve that treatment and not and not one piece fighting path okay guys so let's check it out now we're gonna check out marvel snap official announcement and gameplay first look uh what i heard you can also sign up for the close beta you can enter and then you can play until the game is released uh and you don't lose any data you can just continue i don't know i'm better with the clean slate of all players in the beginning we already check out the trailer as i remember and i wasn't too impressed although i love marvel i mean we can lower a little bit the sound oh yeah we actually didn't check out the trailer yeah we only saw announcement okay my bad i'm not doing full screen because of the copyright stuff so it will be safer like this is the sound fine now yeah i can put a little louder oh yeah give me spider-man okay that's nice that's nice that's nice but this is a card game right i believe this is like a completely card game nothing like this but the trailer is nice a little bit weird <laughs> with our girl iron man okay that's weird yeah it's a complete card game yeah it, like one piece fighting pad deserved deserved so that okay for sure okay i don't know what you're gonna talk i mean we can listen combined with the power of the marvel universe it's been an unbelievable honor to work with Marvel and Newverse on our first project. There's never been a game like Marvel Snap, and we're so excited to share. Never been a game like this? Okay. I'll believe you. Your turn, your turn, your turn. Okay, yeah, like a complete, like, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, you know? <laughs> but it's fine. The game could be fun. Okay, the game could be fun. is deck building. Once upon a time, card games had 60 card decks. You could play four copies of any card, which was actually just 15 unique cards. And so in Marvel Snap, we thought, hey, what if we just did 15 unique cards? And actually, the games are so fast. We can go down to 12 cards, which is still about the same amount of strategic depth, but it's so much easier to build a deck. The okay. game is all about the Cosmic Cube. Oh, snap. In the rank mode, you're basically fighting against other players trying to get more Cosmic Cubes. If you think you're going to win, you can snap your opponent, and that doubles the stakes. Okay, there's the name Snap. Okay. Um, so it's all about deck building, what you heard. Uh, the 
matches can go really fast there is only like 15 unique cards and then you can build around them to 60 you card deck that means you lose again but it doesn't feel bad it's kind of like a skillful damage control it's played over three locations and your goal is to win two out of the three locations so the mind games start to happen as you start shuffling your cards around and trying to figure out how to outwit your opponent to secure two out of the three locations Okay. So it's all about the territory here. And every card in Marvel Snap has a unique ability. These powers really affect the game. And so choosing the cards that work best together is one of the most fun parts of the game. My favorite card is probably Magic. Heimdall. Viper. Galactus. Gamora. King the Conqueror. Okay, a little bit of animation. Okay. Marvel Multiverse ultimately is so Art manager. Maybe you really like one style of variant, and so you want to collect a bunch of them and build your whole deck using these variants. We'll find like really unique artists who have such a distinctive style that we actually want to turn into a variant set. So that's another way we approach variants. It's another way to express yourself in Marvel Snap. So when we launch, there'll be well over 150 base cards for players to collect. Okay, 150 base cards. I don't understand what he meant, like 15 unique cards. Okay, I, I, so there are many other cards, but probably they're like, I don't know. Pressure on you to figure okay, out this is the searching the opponent. To. I'll just go a little bit when through that, a little bit so we can see the more gameplay. When no game feels the same, you feel like you're always learning. I think that's what's really important for a game feeling like it has meaningful depth. We have okay, so it will be like a complete strategic game. I mean, card strategic, it sounds good, but they could One Piece fighting pet. <laughs> Why you didn't translate that game? Constantly delivering new content and constantly evolving the meta for the game. Frame break. That will deliver better experience to our players. Marvel Snap is a mobile... Okay, let me see, do we have anything more? Indicating an ability for a card, but we also started adding flavor effects. Okay, this is really cool, not gonna lie. It, it, it really looks fun, like all these animations of the attacks on the cards itself. Cards feel more like who they are, those characters. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, okay, I'm giving you that plus. Uh, okay, I'm just like hating on this game because I was expecting it to be One Piece fighting pad. But overall, the game doesn't look too bad if you like that kind of genre, that, that kind of style of the gameplay. Uh, to me, I will definitely try this game. Will I be like super hyped about it? Not really. But since it's Marvel, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Okay, why not? But that's that pretty much i just wanted to give it like one of my opinion about this game just wanted to explain the whole situation because i st i still see people asking me why do i think there won't be any global there won't be global version of one piece fighting pad well now i believe i explain everything this is the reason here hate on marvel snap okay just joking the games lo look really cool but nothing spectacular but then again i'll give it a shot because why not okay guys leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below and yeah see you next one bye